install the Mesker knockdown frame. They call it a 20 minute jam. And it takes 20 minutes, it takes too long. Basically, you set this leg up, you start on either side, hinge leg or strike side. You want to lean it up against the wall. You want to make sure you get the wide side of the head going on the wide side of the jam, on the strike side or the hinge side, whichever one you started with. And you want to go ahead and push this up. I always like to then put the other frame in underneath it. So it's not going to come down and catch you in the head. Set that on there. Literally just knock it in place. Knock it up there. Take this leg, slide it in there. You'll see there's two slots right here when you're doing it. They've got to line up. Just line those slots up. Oil it up in place. And then put it on. The inside, there's tabs on the top. I don't know if you can see it, but that tab jumped right in. And you literally just kick it in place. It's got to fit over the wall, fit nice and snug. And you just come back to the other side. Same thing. These are the tabs I'm talking about. They've got to come all the way through. There's these tabs right here. These two tabs will go into slots right up into the head. You take that, put that slot in, put that slot in. Pull it down nice and snug. Lean it over. Literally kick it in place. Pull it down. Now if it's not coming down all the way like that, because you're up, your tab up on the top, it's not lining up. Sometimes you can tap it a few times, get it to line up, but you got to look at it and see why it's not going in there. In this case, it's bent too far back. So you want to bend it out a little bit. Slide it over so you can line that tab up. Get it to drop right down. There it goes. All right, now you see the tabs come up, top and bottom. Now you want to set the tab in place. I'll always use just like a dull flat chisel or a, a cold chisel maybe. You want to put it at a slight angle across the tab and just tap it. If you use a dull chisel, you can just tap it. Lots of times you put this frame on a finished wall or a wall with wallpaper, you don't want to damage it any. Come over here, the same thing. I'm going to just tap that down. Just got to bend it over a little bit. Got to flatten it down. And we'll come on the other side, you got the exact same thing. We'll just bend them over. Same way, a few taps. Now you're ready to go. You want to set the bottom corners. The 36 inch jam. So it's 36 inches here on the top. You want it to be 36 inches on the bottom. Right now we're at 37. So you want to take your level. I normally level the hinge side. Level the hinge side. Set it where you want it. Bring it over. Then we'll set a screw in the trim face, just a standard drywall screw. It's got to be at least inch and five minimum. Two inches is probably better. You want to run it in. Screw it in tight. Now that leg is set, plumb. So you want to come over here, measure from this side over here. You want to be 36 inches. So you need to bring this one out a little bit. Get it right at 36. I'm going to go ahead and screw it in place. Now you want to jump on the other side. You've got two screws in the bottom trim face. Same location. What you want to do, you can eyeball this or you can also just use a square on it. You want to make sure you're nice and square on the wall and on the stop. Then run the screw in. You get that a little bit off, it'll affect the way your door swings. So I always like to use a square. If you're doing it on a VCT tile or something, or you got a few lines, you can look at them. You can square it up by eye. But it's got to be pretty close. You've got to be good at it. Now we're ready to set the expansion anchors on the top. We leveled this side so we know that that anchor is right where it needs to be. Expansion anchor, all you do is turn it with your drill. You thread it in reverse. What it's doing is it's pushing the anchor out against the wall. You'll see right now it'll start to draw tight. You'll see the anchor buckle. As soon as the frame starts to flex a little bit, you're tight enough. You don't want to move it too much. You come over here, 
You do the same thing. Run that anchor until it draws the frame. It'll just start to bow the frame out a little bit. And that's it. That frame is pretty well set. Now what we'll do is we'll hang the door. Once we hang the door, we'll adjust the frame a little bit. We may need to straighten the margins out. Shimmy shake it up and down. You can always move it once you put the door in it. <laughs> Now that we've got the frame set, we'll go ahead and install the door. Earlier we put the hinges on the door, so we want to just take, stand the door up, slide it into place. Take the top hinge first, just line it up, get one screw hole lined up, go ahead and screw that in. Now that I've got that screw in, the door will basically hang on one screw. I like to just take the door, swing it open 190, 180 degrees out of my way. Now if there's a wall or something there, go ahead and let it swing 90. You just want to get it open, swing your hinges out, wiggle the door up and down a little bit, get your pockets to jump right in. There you go. I'll always start on the bottom one. I like to just run all four screws in the bottom one. Personal preference, I don't like to have to bend back over to the bottom hinge again. So I'll put all four screws in the bottom hinge and I'll come back up to the top. You want to make sure it's going to, it's in the slots. You may have to wiggle the door up or down a little bit to get it to go again. It's in the slots. Just go ahead and run your screws in it. Make sure your hinge is pulling in flush and tight. If the hinge sticks out a little bit, might have to wiggle it to get it to go in. You want to make sure it's in on the top and the bottom. Tie it across the back. And just go ahead and run your screws in. And then you're going to take the door after you got it hanging. You're going to take the door in the drywall frame. You want to go ahead and close it. Make sure you got your frame set, square and level. You want to check your margins across the top. You want to check your margins down the side. Make sure everything's good. Make sure the door hits nice and tight when you close it. And that's basically it. That's why we call it a 20 minute frame.